to discuss this exciting project further. And for that, Aisha Gul Tumel joins us now live from Cambridge, Massachusetts. And she's a postdoctoral researcher from MIT Kavli Institute for Astrophysics and uh, Space Research. Welcome to the program. Um, Aisha Gul, you were there at the launch. Tell us, what was that like? It was an amazing experience to witness that historical moment. So I study the evolution of the universe using space-based telescopes. So by default, I was already invested in Turkey's plans for our future in space. And by literally witnessing that moment, it's Kennedy Space Center was indescribable. Amazing. And so you, as you say, you've been following uh, Turkey's journey to space like from the beginning. So what does this moment really signify for the country, for science? So, uh, first of all, I had the privilege to get acquainted with our astronaut, Alper Gezeravci. And I like to say that we sent a wonderful human being out there. And uh, while during his stay in 14 days, he will conduct 13 science experiments by Turkish scientists. So this will place Turkey in the microgravity research literature, which is only the beginning of our journey. And uh, the the whole country is uh, in a really well-deserved uh, enthusiasm, despite the difficult situations we are facing in the country and the region. And this momentum we create will ignite curiosity and encouragement in the young generation on whom we uh, anchor our hopes and future. Absolutely. Um, I would like to talk. Sorry to interrupt you, Isaac. That, that point that, that you're mentioning there about the younger generation, what kind of momentum does seeing an event like this uh, create and spark in the younger generation? Because you yourself, you studied science, but what does it mean for people that are looking at, uh, at, the, um, at this project and seeing um, what happened today and thinking, you know, yes, I should study a, a STEM subject? Exactly. So uh, I joined a live uh, show today while we were docking to the ISS. And we had young people in the audience as well, and we turned to them for comments. And one of them said, I'm going to be an astronaut. So I'd say mission accomplished. And it is the hope that we have put in this young generation. And we will need to carry this momentum forward, continuing the collaborations in science research in space. Actually, good. you say you met um, uh, Alper Gezeravci. Um, tell us how excited was he? How did he prepare? What does it take, you know, stamina-wise, character-wise, uh, physically, to, to get to the ISS? Uh, Alper Gezeravci, excuse me, astronaut Alper Gezeravci is an F-16 pilot. Mm -hmm. So he was already... Um, prepared to face all of the physical difficulties. But as a human, his strength and his humility was amazing. I was really uh, impressed by that. And I'm sure that he will lead by example in Turkey and outside of Turkey with his uh, qualities. I should go, help us understand a bit more about these um, 13 different experiments and 30 projects that astronaut Alper Gezeravci will be uh, conducting there in the ISS? So we have, 30, uh, as you've said, 13 different experiments and uh, the range is very wide. It's from microbiology to physiology to genetics and nanotechnology. And especially, uh, there are very special uh, specimens sent to ISS from Turkey uh, about uh, extra, uh, extra morphic uh, structures, uh, the plants that they will be uh, viewing the radiation effects on and how they uh, will uh, flourish in space. It's a very wide experimental range and um, the literature will be uh, widened as well. Fantastic. I should go really great to speak to you today. Um, thank you so much for sharing your insights, your expertise and, and your passion and uh, closeness to this project there. And uh, also knowing Alpe Gezeravci uh, Personally, thank you so much.